this is the layout diagram right now katnaika expressway here and now here connecting the road above the above the candy road and it comes like this bridge comes like this now you can see in the upstream side now this is the uh can this junction and these are the two junctions or good junction and uh, uh port access road now when we are providing new this bridge now we can you can see six lane up and six lane down here in existing canny bridge now here four lane uh up and eight lane down in uh, baseline road and port access road four lane up and four lane down okay now then the capacity would be reduced you can see like this each and every road and uh, the time actually we can go within 5 minutes to reach to the godwatta junction now uh, this is actually uh, this project actually this is a main connection of the katnaik expressway and another extension to the port and the, another extension to atrugiriya via batramulla now this project has been identified by as a extra, uh, expressway network connection now here you can see katnaik expressway recently connected the outer circular highway now all the vehicles are here right now now this is the junction that we are going to improve and this will be again connected to the atrugiriya now that is already commenced that construction and also this construction now up to port now this is also commenced now uh, now this is the project now here we have project uh, i didn't implemented as the two packages one section is the steel section uh, another section is the concrete section now that is what we call the extra dose bridge sections now these are the main uh, components in the project now this is the uh, box girder pre stress box girder now this is the extra dose bridge and this is the again overlap section concrete box girder as well as the steel box girders now uh, these are the main components of this one now i will come to that one later now here you can see the sections of the each and every legs now this is the steel bridge section the main contractor is jmt joint venture and the subcontractor is adventures now today uh, Uh, and uh, here why we are now here we can see we are using the structural components steel piers 3900 tons and steel bridge components 21 girders and composite steel uh, slab deck 41000 square meters and now why we are going for the steel girder bridge above the existing bridge now actually shorter on site construction period than the concrete girder bridge and smaller size than the concrete pier and portal frames on avoiding the underground utility location so i will explain those things in detail later uh, package 2 also smcc sunken jv now we have commenced the construction 2017 now we plan to complete it near soon uh, these are the expected outcome now we are reaching to this outcome you can see when you pass the urkodwatta junction now prior to commence my presentation i would like to just brief explanation give the challenges of the clearing of the site now you can see prior to commence the construction you can see now there are 400 families now high density families are here and sri lanka atomic energy board building is here automobile building is there so now actually in order to construct this prior to commence the construction work we have to relocate all these locations and to clear the site and clear site has to be handed over to the contractor for his construction work but uh, according to my experience what i'm saying is commencing the construction is the 25 now at that point 75% of the project is over 25% is the uh, construction uh, the uh, main construction comes within the 25% of the entire project now here you can see resettlement of families atomic energy building all are overlapping our construction so we have to at initially clear these sections at uh, 
automobile AETI building. Now we have relocated the VTA land and atomic energy building and spent storage in uh, near vicinity and resettlement of families. Now we have done the resettlement at the uh, Vallampiti area. And also in addition to that one, now here 132 KV line and the 220 KV line has to be relocated and underground now, otherwise it will all get obstructed to our main construction. Now here you can see, now we have to complete these sections to hand over to the site where, uh, prior to commence the construction. And also now here actually there are, you can see there are so many utility utilities we have to relocate. Now these are the stakeholders we have to coordinate during this construction. Atomic Energy Board, Automobile uh, Engineering Training Institute, Sri Lanka Electricity Board and all the utility agencies and everything. Now here you can see the atomic energy building. Now when we are relocating the atomic energy building, we come across very bitter experience. We uh, try to relocate in the Halbarav area, but public protests come. So after that, we have to abandon the site at this stage. Again, we have to find another land and we continue our construction. But anyway, we could successfully complete this building in near vicinity of the uh, our project area. So now we could complete this entire building also. Now, uh, next to our relocation is the uh, automobile. Now that building also we relocated and we handed over to them. And also power line again, we relocated that like this that has been executed by the CB. And also now this is the another challenge that we face relocating the 460 families. So we forward the re, uh, compensation of options, self relocation and the housing. Now, so we have done so many self surveys and we carried out that work life, not just a house. Now we need to enhance their lifestyle through this project. Now, not a, now we had a vision and a mission about that one. We have to ensure the resettlement communities are substantially better off in all aspects, attain higher living standards. So we follow the old international and national standards guideline to in order to restore them. Just now, these are the buildings that we have relocated in apartment high rise building. The earlier people were here, like this now new location. Now they are staying happily. Now these are the training balcony garden system we have introduced because where they are relocated in the uh, housing complex. And also now we support them to increase their employability, uh, giving sewing machines and uh, live, uh, to increase their livelihood activities. Now here we are, so now here total number of lots we have acquired in 968 according to the pre plan, pre -plan for the land acquisition. Now, these are the challenges that we had having successfully completion, completed that work. Now we could hand over entire site in 2017 prior to commence the construction. Now I am moving to the steel bridge construction uh, package. Yes, uh, now here you can see five span steel uh, main contractor, as I said, JMT joint venture. Now we have commenced our construction 2017, but unfortunately we plan to complete uh, in three years prior to this one uh, in last year, but new completion will be 31st July 2021. Now here we can see five span continuous steel box girders. Now uh, we are constructing on top of the baseline road. I span continuous steel. Now this is the port access road. Now here 306 meter total width, 78 uh, span. Now these are the uh, curved section that we are providing the steel uh, sections. Now the portal frame that we are using. And also uh, steel comp uh, concrete composite deck that we are using for the uh, concrete. And now here, now I will explain those things later. Now this is the component that we are using here. Now you can see here, these are the foundation in concrete. Now this is the steel portal frame. Steel portal frame and the concrete uh, 
peers. Uh, sorry, uh, files will be uh, concrete peer will be uh, file cap will be connected using the anchor frame. Top of that one, we can see the box girders and the SSCD panels like this here. Now this is the steel girder. Now we will see one by one why we are going to the steel construction. Now here you can see now if you are going to the concrete section, now here our uh, pile cap and the foundation will be larger, but here very heavy underground utilities are there. Therefore, we can't go for larger foundations. Therefore, that is why, uh, uh, because uh, dead weight is reduced by the 50%. Therefore, we can go for the small foundations. Next one is the portal frame supported by the here multi carriageway. Now you can see heavy uh, traffic along the baseline road, but we can't provide the multi support system. Uh, sorry, multi. Uh, sorry. Uh, now this is multi. Uh, this support we can't provide uh, close by. Now here, if we are going to the concrete section, we have to provide uh, close. We can't manage our traffic if we are going for the concrete one. And we can use the using the single temporary support, we can erection can be carried out easily. And also now uh, we can go for now here we are having the very narrow uh, curve sections. For that one actually small curvatures, we can easily utilize the steel box girders. Now here, now that is what, and now here if we are going to the concrete bridges, we have to provide lot of temporary supported here. But if you are going to the steel bridge with one support, we can manage. But here we are working under very heavy traffic. Therefore, uh, we have to uh, construct like this uh, without disturbing the existing traffic. And also steel concrete composite decks actually, now why we are using for the SS, SCCD panels, now we are saying. Now the higher durability and short construction period due to the less reinforcement arrangement, form work and self scaffolding and better work inside conditions and no temporary form work required. Therefore, we can uh, minimize the uh, disturbance to the existing traffic and no uh, wet concrete leakage, cement mix milk can exist in high traffic roads and we can enhance the most important thing is we can enhance the safety of the site during the construction and also here we are introducing the five court system now this is very uh, uh, higher durability and thereby we can minimize the life cycle cost now here we can apply uh, in 40 years time c5 i think can manage and also, now these are the coating system that we are using. Okay, and also now using, now it, uh, now here we are using this steel structure to new Kalani bridge. Now that will give the shorter construction period, minimum impact to the existing traffic and minimum impact to the environment and existing utilities because underground there are so many utilities and also higher durability and the minimum life cycle cost. And also now uh, normally a lot of uh, steel bridges is not, uh, now when the water stagnated at the steel bridges cor corrosion taken place and the durability is not, uh, except uh, we, have, we can't guarantee. But here we are using the super interior drainage system at each and every location. Now uh, this is the bridge composite deck. Now here we are using the bearing and the expansion joints, pot bearing and the pin type bearing we are using. Uh, pot, bear, uh, pot bearing in cases with the rubber casing and uh, for uplift bearing we are using the pin type bearing. And for the cor uh, corrosion protection we are using the aluminum magnesium metal metallizing is used. Uh, here we are using the finger type expansion joints. 
Ganon. If you can see the steel erection, fox girders like this. Now these are the construction photographs. You can see this animation, erection. Now here connecting the anchor frame and the steel pier connection. Yeah, you can see how the girders are connecting each other using temporary bends. All work has been carried out local people under the Japanese supervision. Now here, connecting the XCD panel. Uh, now we are uh, moving to the extra dose bridge section. Now here you can see in pink color section, now we are calling the concrete bridge section. Now this is here, we are called the package two. Contract is SMCC Sunken KV. We commenced construction October 2017. Now we plan to complete 31st July 2021. Here we are using the concrete volume 33,000, PC cables 1,100 tons. Now here we have carried out the soft ground treatment 100 meters and bypass construction 450 meters. Now here, this is the bridge. I think you can see when you are passing there. Now we will see what is the extra dose bridge. Now it is new type of uh, bridge in between the girder bridge and the uh, cable state bridge. Now here girder bridge is like this and extra dose bridge is uh, in between girder bridge and the cable state bridge. Now here extra dose bridge, now this type of bridge we are using the application for the 100 meters to 200 meters uh, span length. But if you are using the cable stay, uh, span more than uh, economical for the 300 to 500 meters. Now here vertical load sharing ratio is 10% to 20%. And here's uh, cable stay bridge vertical load sharing ratio is 80 to 100%. The main girder bears the vertical load and stay cables bears the, uh, now here, uh, only stay cable bears the main vertical load. Allowable stress is 0 0.6, now here 0 0.4. Uh, now these are the girder bridge, but if you are going for the girder bridge, you can see girder height is uh, varying 12 meters to 10.5. Extra dose bridge, if you are going, now these are the thumb rule. Now girder height would be the 6 meter to 5.15. Pylon height would be the 22.5. Uh, when compared to the cable stay, girder height is lower, 2 to 2.5, but pylon height is 36 meters. Therefore, uh, economical construction when compared to the girder bridges and the cable stay bridges. Now here, now if I, if we are moving to the some sort of design of extra dose bridge, now here actually we have to find the uh, selection of bridge type. Now, based on now why what I have explained here, box girder bridge, if compared to the extra dose bridge, it would be the 5%, uh, 10% uh, is increase of the cost, and cable stay is costing that of 33%. Now, if we have to fi find the aesthetically view, uh, aesthetic view as well as the economic structures. Now, this is the design flowchart that we are 
following plan in design conditions, peer location, good heights, material, design criteria, and all, so on. Need to, we have to do the global analysis first. After that, we have to do the trial calculations. Now here, purpose is global analysis is to obtain the design forces for the entirely structural members. Gerda design. Gerda designs, takeable design, pylon design, and the foundation design, as well as the accessories expansions. Now here you can see initially we have to find out the, where the pylon locations. Now you can see the uh, red, these are the control of the river. So we utilize the, now here I'm saying the P20, now it is named as like this. Now this is the pylon 21. Now, and this is the abutment now that we call the P19. Now here is the P22. Uh, now here we can, uh, first one is the, we have to finalize the good height. Now here we can see the pier head. Good height will be the span divided by 32, that is 5.6. Center span that is reduced 3.3. Now that is length divided by 55. Tower height would be the uh, span divided by 9. Now here tower height would be the 20 meters. And now these are the materials that we have utilized for this construction and the uh, properties for the calculation. Design standard, vehicle loads, HP load, wind load, and temperature, all these things are considered. And the, these are the combinations that we have utilized for the design. And here, global analysis, we have utilized the finite element mo uh, model by Nova Frame Software. Now here you can see P19, P20, P21, P22 main uh, section has been considered initially. And you can see the bending moment diagram according to the pylon uh, P20, uh, at pylon P20 and the transverse direction moments. And here the uh, model has been taken here for this presentation, model 11. Now that is the pylon P20 and P21. Here we consider the peer segment with temporary fixing conditions. And model 54 utilized the du bridge during construction, installation first day cable. Bridge during construction at installation first day cable, pylon 20 and P21. And Model 164, bridge during the construction installation of elastic cable. Uh, uh, when construct cable from pylon P20 and P21. Uh, model 300 is the complete, complete bridge section. Model, now static soil, uh, stiffness for foundation. Now these are the stress curves. Uh, now this is the first this stress curve actually uh, engineer has uh, engineers uh, proposal now during construction now it would be like top stress and the bottom stresses here now here bottom stress before installation last stage cable now this stressors actually this is the predictor by the engineer during the detailed design now, this is the stress calculation by the contractor during the construction. But we can see both are in the allowable tolerances. Now, ultimate capacity calculation, the main girder design is like this. Now, here girders vary from MBP 20 to segment wise. Now, here we have considered the H type. Now, you can see the, uh, now here based on these uh, stressors and the capacities, now here we are using the D12 at uh, center to center is 150 uh, reinforcements. Now here stay cables design. Now here we are using the 15.2 millimeter for one cable. Now ultimate lo uh, load is given here 256.6. But here we are using the uh, 0.6 times F, uh, FPU. Now that is 154. Now these are the arrangement here. You can see initially stay cable arrangement was considered with all stay cables composing the 27, but based on the force calculation and all these things, now this number of stands would be varied. Now these are the stress calculation for the stay cables. Now this is the design stay force at finish in detail design 
but uh, after construction, the contractor's analysis is like this. Almost approximately these values are equal. And these are the stay force. Now you can see all the stay forces here. Uh, ratio is now uh, 1.087. That means uh, we are in the safe side. Safety of safety factor is all, almost uh, more than 1%. Now these are the stress, uh, calculations during construction, like this. Now when we are moving to the construction site, now these are the, now I always use in these words, P19, P20, P19 is the Batman, P20, P21 and P22 is another Batman. 20 and 21 is the pylons. Now you can see here, now main distance is 180, from here 100 meters and 100 meters. Now these are the borehole data in each and every location of this pier and the abutment. Now here, uh, this is mainly three span six lane bridge. Uh, you can see the uh, details of this foundation. The two meter diameter cast in situ RC piles we have utilized. 28 by 20 meter pile cap and it varies from 3.5 meter to 4 meter pile load calculated all the separate analysis. Now here pile cap 20 by 28 by 4 meter concrete volume is 2135. Now here we have to do the mass concrete in here we have very precisely we have followed the temperature analysis we carried out during the construction and uh, after that uh, actually, we could manage very well in this uh, concrete in work, but yeah, I have no time to explain. We have done so many experiments uh, prior to do this uh, temperature uh, controlling. Uh, from this presentation, I have no time to do that one, therefore I skip that one. Now, these are the tower deck. It comes, deck is 23.5 meter length. Section varies uh, 2.5 to 3.5. Now, once the deck is concrete, as it could be like this. Uh, I just explained the construction methodology, small clip like this. You can see how the bracing and going on, curved section, concreting, you know, homework like this. Step by step, I just put it in this way. Now I have a good uh, video. I will see whether I can play that one. Entire construction video is there. Now, this is the construction method that we are using, uh, cast in situ balance cantilever method using foam traveler. Now, these are the sections. Now, you will see, I will see the construction. Now, here, first we construct the pier head. After that, sections using the balance cantilever method from P20 to P21 and here this section. Now, these two sections has to be carried out simultaneously. After that, we have to do the insect in span enclosure. After that, these closures, side closures. Video. 
here you can see how the foam traveler works with the stay cable construction. Tricks it. It is moving up using the hydraulic jack. Now, this is the, how uh, stressing has been taken place from uh, mid to, you can see here. Now, this is the P20, MBP20 and P21 towards the other side, longitudinally. This is the side span. This is the end span. Now, here we are using the ep epoxy content filled tendon cables. Now here are 37 uh, tendons in each cable. Normally, uh, and also now here, now there are three types of the, uh, three types of uh, stay cable arrangement, but here we are using the fan type one, half type and radial, but here we are using the fan type one. You can see here. And also now there are, uh, now these are the three types uh, for the connecting anchor, uh, connecting the each and every uh, saddles. Now here we are using our, our saddles like this, dynamic. Now this uh, separately, now there is a dynamic I will show you. Now it will be connected like this. Now this is the fixed end, stressing has been taken place in the other end. Stay cable anchorage, saddle type steel anchor embedded into the pylon concrete. Now this will be the this will be connected to the shear connector. Here you can see now when the stay cable comes, transverse direction here we are constructing the diaphragm wall. Now uh, here uh, actually uh, uh, diaphragm transfer stressing. After com uh, completing the transfer stressing, only we have to do this stressing work in this direction. Now here, this is how we are connecting to the uh, Diana link to the saddle to the pier. It will be like this. It will first we fix it somewhere here. After that, connecting and the stressing has been taken and this end. Now these are the stressing machines. Yeah. Now these are the construction from pylon to the uh, at, uh, until end of this uh, construction.
you can see the pylon construction each and every steps here this is the pier table this has been constructed in august 2019 first two segments using form traveler using the balance cantilever method moving forward segment by segment for one segment we need one month time but both segment you can see we have constructed very parallelly now connecting the stay cables one by one for both side in both piers sorry both pylons here you can see here now closing one by one into the mid span now this is the end of the stay cable now again reach it to the mid mid span this construction mood span during the last three sorry last two and half years that construction is complete like this this is the mid middle span closer last month we could be able to complete the middle span now entire bridge is completed now this is the steel bridge construction at site this is the first pier connected in 2018 after that one by one Girders are connecting. Midnight connecting. final tightening of bolts so i would like to present condition of the share that video also with you this is the present progress of the project and also progress video so i would like to share with you right now drone video now this is the present condition of the project now now our progress is 95% another 5% to be com completed 
but because of this COVID situation, we are managing very difficult situation in order to safeguarding all the workers and following all the guidelines stipulated in the government under the COVID. So, but anyway, having all the difficulties, now we are we have come to the end of this project. There are so many people support government, JICA and ministry, ministers and all the uh, project management unit and the consultant and the contractors, subcontractors, all are supported. With all the teamwork, we could end up this type of project successfully so far. I'm very sorry today we are having a lot of disturbances while doing this presentation. Any inconvenience caused by this, please, I apologize. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, for that exceptionally informative presentation, Engineer Darshika Jayasekara. Uh, you took us through many, many details of the project, especially the intricate, in, intricate um, logistical and planning measures which had to be taken to implement such a cutting edge project in Sri Lanka. Uh, Engineer Dashka, would you be able to take some of the questions which have been posted? Do you have time for that? Uh, I have very little time, but anyway, I just try to uh, explain. Now here, corrosion is something that very difficult or done, not right by many. However, we have seen these box girders are perfect. It would be great if the specification adapted is elaborated a further little. But here, actually, we are using the five court system, actually. Now I explain in the presentation. Uh, one is the now now when the uh, one is at site. Uh, sorry, uh, prior to the uh, assembling, we are doing the at at uh, fabrication yard. We are doing one court. After that, two, three, four, five courts, five systems. Now the uh, prior to come to Sri Lanka, another four courts we are doing. After that, final touch has been done at Sri Lanka. Uh, next one, uh, more sophisticated bridge structure. Was there any peer review of the design done by consultants? Now, this uh, bridge design has been reviewed, this uh, bridge actually. Uh, uh, all the uh, bridge design calculation, all these things together with the bridge design and segmental, all the calculation has been carried out together with the consultant with the bridge design division in RDA. Uh, yes, now here another, uh, uh, if the two meter diameter piles were used, how was the method used to control the temperature difference between core of the pile? and the surface of the pile as per the uh, surface of the pile. Now here actually we have utilized the uh, temperature gauges, gauges at the core and the uh, surface. Actually speaking now not the two meter diameter pile, temperature control very difficult in the pile cap actually. Now here 2135 cubic meters we are using for this pile cap construction. Now that is actually separate analysis we have carried out to mitigate the uh, temperature control. But here we have uh, uh, actually casted in 450 meter uh, thickness sections 
and uh, first we have carried out the mock up section mock up and based on the mock up we uh, we have taken all the data and we stimulated with the finite element method to the uh, that is very uh, brief now uh, yes uh, process that we have carried out but at site we could manage very well uh, temperature controlling using the five sections professor nanakar actually supported for this one to manage in this one now here we are using the layer by layer we have carried out this temperature analysis now this is separate presentation so right now i have no time to do that one now here same question asked again the how what are the taking steps to avoid the corrosion now actually we have taken the now in inbuilt now we are doing the proper uh, drainage system here uh, uh, because not allowing any water to stagnate at the site at the at the section uh, at the design stage all the drainages has been planned very designed very well and also with the five court systems we can manage the corrosion now we have taken special emphasis for this one as you uh, as you said uh, actually lot of knowledge has been transferred to the young engineers uh, our young engineers actually they grab lot of uh, design aspects as well as the construction techniques all these things our young engineers uh, involved for this one i could see they are doing very well now actually we have arranged some overseas uh, site visit also for them uh now here uh, consultant of this now they are asking the consultants now consultants the oriental consultant and the katira joint venture uh and the total cost of this project is entirely uh now if you are talking the concrete section it is 9.8 billion the entire section not only the bridge but uh Uh, the software we have used the nova frame analysis and some other softwares also uh, all the softwares we are we are planning to hand over to the bridge design uh, fireproofing yes and now actually fire controlling waterproofing for the steel section is almost painting, painting. from the painting we can uh, uh, what fireproofing paint now that can be withstand to painting with the heat energy let me get fireproofing paint oh uh, it possible can we find up from this session thank you yes of course uh, thank you so much once again uh, engineer ashka jaisik uh, jaisikara i will quickly just hand over uh, for the vote of thanks to the vice president of the executive committee engineer mrs saranka jaisundra uh, to close the session yeah thank you dilan uh, president ssc sir our speaker for the day uh, engineer mrs darshika Jaisekar, excellent committee members, ladies and gentlemen, very good evening to you all. Uh, we are at the end of uh, another successful question time session conducted by organized by the Society of Structural Engineers. So, on behalf of the excellent committee, first of all, let me express a hearty vote of thanks to the speaker today, Engineer Mrs. Darshika Jaisekar, the project director, New Kalani Bridge Project. for delivering very informative and interesting presentation on planning design project implementation of the largest box girder bridge in south asia so again thank you very much ms ajimi jayasekar for uh, sharing your experience with us then i extend our sincere gratitude to the sponsor for the event adventis engineers for sponsoring this cute session uh, then i would like to extend 
my thanks, our sincere gratitude uh, the, for the uh, compere engineer Dylan Ryan for uh, uh, making this event a success. Then at last but not least, I wish to extend our sincere gratitude to all the participants for joining, connecting with us virtually for this session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Engineer Mrs. Uh, Tanakika Jayasundra. With that, we can bring today's session to a close. I wish you all a productive and safe week ahead. Good night.